Welcome Taste Designs 107, I'm Nears in the car park and you're the kings and queens. Today what I've for you guys is a Photoshop tutorial showing you how to make a advertisement collage effect. The preview will be on screen now. The difficulty for this tutorial will be 2 out of 5 stars and the duration will be 10 minutes. Now I just want to cover through some things. I'm making YouTube banners for $10 and also Twitter headers for $10. If you'd like one made by me and your channel will also be featured on my channel, has its own little separate video make sure you go purchase one in the description below it really helps me out practice my design skills and yeah hopefully i'll be able to give back to the community a little bit i've lowered my price down so hopefully some i'll get some new clients through the window and yeah that's basically it that's all i wanted to say let's get straight into this one and i don't want to push through i'm after money or whatever i just want to make banners basically for more clients so yeah Welcome to the desktop. This is where the magic happens. What we're going to do first of all is open up Photoshop and get straight into this video. So I'm just going to check that all my sound is working, my recording is also working. And yeah, so open up Photoshop. We'll need a couple of assets for this um, tutorial, but very minimal. We're just going to be using this stock and we're also going to be using this stock. But that is it. This is what the final project shall look like and we'll also be using a CC so make sure you go down in the description below so you can go and download this one. Um, yeah, so that should be it. And we're going to get straight into it and of course you'll need some of your own work to use. So what I have here to show you is like I have these banners and everything like that so I am able to use them. So yeah, let's get straight into it without the overdue, and yeah, so let's go to File New, and make the width 1920 by 1080 p press OK. And what you want to start doing first of all is making the lines around your desktop, so around your picture. So here I would have a line here, there, 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 there. So I'm going to show you some basic ones, so grab up your pen tool. But before we do that, we want to edit some of our brush settings. So go to your brush size and change this one to 6 pixels. Hardness is going to be 100%. And make your background foreground color black and your background white. Make a new layer by pressing Control shift n And we're just going to click once on our document with our pen tool. And hold shift and make a diagonal line like 45 degrees. Right click on this line, do stroke path tool brush press ok bam make a new layer again and we are going to click somewhere along the line and make a straight line and we're going to do this again make always make the lines on a new layer and yeah so i'm just going to speed up the video right now until i get the final one so so i am back now and we have all these um, lines done now as you can see some of the lines overlap each other so we're going to fix that by finding the line that is overlapping and it's on this layer press M and grab a rectangular marquee tool and just make a selection over the ending press delete and you shall delete that overlap we're gonna find the next line and do the same I'm not gonna fast forward this part because this won't take long press ctrl D always to deselect this one shall be here And we've got this one. Okay, so now we have all these boxes and we're just going to count out how much boxes we have. So here I've done a lot because I want to show a lot of my different work. But in this case, it's just a tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to get over with the pattern. Uh, let me, excuse me, I've got a call. Yo, what's up? Bye. Okay, so we're gonna count the squares. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we need 10 pieces. I'm just gonna drag these on from here. So I'm gonna use all my banners. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
10 and just drag all your banners onto the document okay press ctrl t and we're going to zoom all the way out and just do something like this i'm going to right click on these and make sure that these are all unreleased in your case you wouldn't and I'm going to press Control T, press um, press Control A, sorry, and I'm just going to send these onto the document. And all these are rotated, that is fine. We're just going to hide these for now. And we're going to make the squares around these little boxes. So to do the squares or the area, you write, um, you just grab up your pen tool, go through the lines like you can see, and right click and do make selection, press OK. And make a new layer, not a new document. Um, group all your line ones together. So just press shift click all them press control G and we'll name this line group And this will be shape one and We're gonna do shape one with banner ones So we're gonna do this and we're gonna fill in shape one with the bucket tool with any color and With the banner we're just gonna right click and do create clipping mask hide this one um, uncheck this one and then we've got something like this going on and it's not showing up for some reason and you just drag your banner onto a position so you can see it like this you can press ctrl t and as you can see it won't go above or below the lines because i've just constrained it to there i'm gonna try and get deadpool and if you would like to know a tutorial on how to make this type of banner that you can see me doing it it's on my channel make sure you go check it out something like that and we're going to do these for all the shapes so it shouldn't take too long but i will speed through this i'll just go through a couple of shapes so you guys can get an idea of what you have to do just to solidify your knowledge press make selection press ok and make a new layer fill this one in with black and put your line group all the way on the top so it overlaps everything and this is my second shape i'm going to use this one i'm going to actually just name this shape shape two and whatever ben is shape two i'm going to right click do create clipping mask i'm going to bring this banner down prices are down and then we press ctrl t i press that just bring it so you can see it and you kind of get the um, idea I've used this technique recently in a banner tutorial however I just wanted to show you how you could make this because of I didn't really have any uh, I wanted to do a banner tutorial but I've been doing those a lot lately and I just want to have a little bit of variety on my channel um, but I want to kind of now stick to like the whole YouTube graphics scene because of now a lot of people like trying to become a youtuber and i think that it's a great idea for me sh to show people how they can make their graphics for free on the Okay, so now that we have finished everything, the next thing is to apply the CC. So go down to the description below, there'll be CC for you guys to use. We're just going to drag this one onto here, it's pre-made, and then we get something like this. And what you can do is add a hue saturation, make this above, and you can change the uh, just the brightness and that of the CC with this adjust slightly. And also if you go to the CC, um, You can just like add something like this or change the color whatever you'd like you can also add on on these layers if you'd like there are options actually i'll just delete them because of, i really don't want you guys to use those because they're actually quite bad i'm gonna make sure that your designs are good 
Okay, so now we have that. I'm just gonna name this CC color correction. And we all have to now add on the glitch and the triangles. So drag on the glitch. Press Ctrl T, resize this one up. And we're gonna change the blending option on this one to lighten. And I'm also gonna add on some triangles. So if we go to the brushes, And I'm just going to press control or go to filter, distort, ripple, change up the settings like 260, something like that. And also change the opacity down. Press control J on this one, press control T, flip horizontally, flip vertically, just for some vari variation. You can also hide those. I don't tend to like them, but they're cool to other people, so you can do that. Make a new layer. We're going to make a rectangle above this. This is going to be for our text. I'm going to fill this one in with white. Make sure it's above our lines, above everything. And with the text, I'm not sure if, yeah. And then with the text, we're just going to type out banner design. I'm going to be using Baybass. There will be a link in the description below for the font. Press OK, change the color to black. Press Ctrl T and just resize it something like this. Up and down, somewhere in the center. Control click both of these layers, press Ctrl A, press V, center these ones. And we're gonna add on a drop shadow with the rectangle. And I'm gonna be using the settings blending mode multiply, opacity 100, angle 90, use global light, distance 32, spread 16, size 103 press ok and that is all you have to do for this tutorial guys i really do hope that you enjoyed it it was something quick and easy but i do want to do a little bit of variation on my channel so let me know what you'd like to see in the next tutorial i've had some couple of comments for a twitter header so i think that'll be the next one so yeah let's get straight into the next tutorial tomorrow and subscribe and like the video thanks so much for everything guys i really do appreciate it